Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jacob Monster here, and today I bring you guys a tutorial on how to install Shaders Mod for Minecraft 1.8. Now, just before the tutorial starts, I want to let you guys know that this mod does require a lot of power, so make sure you do have a computer which is able to run the mod. Uh, also, a bunch of common issues that a lot of you guys may run into is your Minecraft profile not being able to launch, uh, your Minecraft constantly running out of memory or constantly crashing. That is actually a quite an easy fix. So all you have to do is make sure you update your Java and make sure you keep your graphics card up to date. And of course, if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is head over to the links in the description below and you want to open up the links which bring you to the Shaders Mod website and the Optifine website. So the first thing we're going to do is scroll down and we're going to find our Minecraft version which is 1.8 and it's easy, we just hit the download over here and it will bring us to the download page. Um, over here we also need to look at the compatibility. So it's compatible with Optifine 1.8 HD UD1. So keep that in mind, that will be really important. Uh, we're going to head over to the Optifine website, go to downloads, and we want to find that version. So Optifine 1.8 HD UD1 and just hit download. Alright, so once you've downloaded those files, make sure you drag them onto your desktop and then you want to open up your Minecraft launcher. So once your Minecraft launch is open, what you have to do is select edit profile and you want to change the used version to release 1.8. Uh, this is a very important step, so make sure you do it. I uh, hit save profile and just hit play. And it will actually launch up and download the new 1.8 update if you don't have it already. And what this does is it gets us all the necessary files we need to install the mods itself. So uh, once the game's launched, you can just close it. And what we're going to do now is open up the Optifine installer first. So make sure you do the Optifine one first. Open up the Optifine installer, hit install and hit OK. And that's pretty much Optifine done. Now we're going to open up the Shaders Mod Installer, hit OK. And what we have to do here is select the drop down arrow and make sure you select Optifine 1.8 uh, HD UD1. So the version we just installed, hit that and then hit OK. And there we go, that's pretty much Shaders Mod and Optifine install. Now if you try to log into your Minecraft world, you realize that your shaders isn't working quite yet. Now much like resource packs, Shaders uses shader packs to make them do all those cool things. So I'm going to leave a bunch of links in the description below to download uh, a bunch of my favorite shader packs. So uh, the first thing we're going to need to do to install these shader packs is to locate our Minecraft folder. Now, if you're using Windows or Mac, there will be a separate set of instructions on the screen and in the description below. So you guys can follow along if you do get confused. So what we're going to do is go to our start menu and we're going to type in percent app data percent and hit enter and it will bring you to this folder. So we're going to find our .minecraft folder, double click on that and it will bring us into our where all of our Minecraft files and stuff are located. So just right click on a blank space, hit new and then go to new folder. And we're just going to call the new folder shader packs. Uh, does not need any spaces or caps or anything. So what you want to do is just double click on the shader packs folder and drag all your shaders inside and that's pretty much it. So once you've done all of those steps, you'll realize you'll have a new profile in your launcher called 1.8 Shaders Mod. Now you want to launch your Minecraft with that profile and once you do, of course, you'll be brought to the Minecraft home menu. So let's just log into any Minecraft world and once you log in for the first time, you'll realize that uh, it doesn't look too much different. So what we're going to do is go into our options and you'll realize a new tab here called Shaders. So click on that and you'll find all of the shader packs that we just installed in this folder over here. So let's just select uh, the Zeus shader pack and there we go. That's pretty much shaders installed. Now, if you hit F3 in the top left, you realize it says 1.8 Optifine and shaders mod. So that means we have Optifine and shaders mod installed. So this is pretty much it for the tutorial. If this did help you out, be sure to leave a like. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys very soon in another video.